So once we've turned on Bluetooth, and before we can establish a Bluetooth socket for communications with another device, the Bluetooth adapter must first bond with the remote device. So before we can bond and connect, they have to discover each other. So in this video, we're going to look at, first of all, some of the terms related to Bluetooth discovery, and then we'll do an example building on our script to then have devices turn on discovery and then find each other. So before we can establish a Bluetooth socket, we have to bond with a remote device. And before we can bond, they have to discover or find each other. Now on Android, discoverability is automatically set to disabled. So we need to get permission from the user to turn this on. And in the manifest file, this is where we have Bluetooth admin permissions set to be able to discover other devices. And we're going to begin this process by implementing a new activity using action request discoverable. And this will show the user a dialogue where they can have the option of being discovered or canceling that operation. So once Bluetooth is turned on, we need to find other devices. And we use the Bluetooth adapters start discovery method. And we use the broadcast receiver registration to listen for action found events. And that will tell our application that a new remote Bluetooth device has been found. Now, there are different ways of scanning for discoverability and we use the get scan mode method from the Bluetooth adapter object. And there are different scan mode constants that you can use. So we have the scan mode connectable discoverable, the scan mode connectable, and then scan mode none. So if you're only looking for devices that have been bonded before, then you can use the scan mode connectable, but if you want more flexibility on other devices that are in the area, then you want to use the scan mode connectable discoverable. Bonded devices are those that have previously paired with the device, the current device in the past. And once that occurs, one is connected as the server and the other one is connected as a client. And in order to get those bonded devices, we use the get bonded devices method. So once they are, once the server and the client are bonded, there's a connected Bluetooth socket for each device on the same RFCOM. Remember, RFCOM is radio frequency communication, and that is our Bluetooth transport protocol. So in this, we're going to be listening for that communication, and we're going to provide it with a name and a universal user ID. So the Bluetooth SDP, or the Bluetooth Service Discovery Protocol, allows us to register services to a database to find out what services are ava available. And we use the device universal user ID for the device that we want to connect with. So the UUID, universally unique identifier, is for identifying a particular device and you can see an example it's 128 bit numbers that are in hexadecimal format you can there's a link that you can go to to generate your own universal unique identifier to incorporate into your app and it is something that's hard coded into your application it's not something that is on your device so let's begin by going into your project and we'll continue building on to find out how to make your devices discoverable and pair with other devices. Okay, so I have opened up the file that I was working on before. This is the application that is already set up to turn Bluetooth off and on from within the application. And next we're going to set it up so that it can discover other devices. 
So to begin with, I'm just going to collapse this section for the broadcast receiver. We were using that to display when Bluetooth was being turned off and on. And we won't be working with that in this section. So I'm just going to collapse it for simplicity purposes. Now to continue on, the user interface is set up so that we have an on click for our button to start the process for turning on Bluetooth. And so this is the place where we want to start discoverability as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start out by commenting out this section because this is all turning on Bluetooth and we want to turn it on and do discovery at the same time. So I'm just going to leave that section there and start adding in. So we're going to have a string called scan mode changed and it's going to be for action scan mode changed. The scan mode changed when we use that with an intent filter is going to give the user the opportunity to choose whether to make the device discoverable or not. So here we're just creating a string that we can use in the next section. We're also going to create a string here for making our device discoverable. So we can say that the adapter we're going to request to be discoverable. And so if Bluetooth is not turned on, it will turn it on and then also set the mode to be discoverable. Okay, so we'll add in an intent filter for scan mode changed, which is going to do the action to request to change the scan mode of the Bluetooth adapter. And we're going to register a receiver and then start activity for result. And this is our intent is going to be be discoverable, which is going to request that the device become discoverable. And we have a return value of discovery request. Now I have to um, create that constant. So I'm going to create that field in name. So let me move up here and set that. And I'm just going to set this to a value of one because I'll want it to be true. So when we set up a start activity for result, we can also follow up on the result of that activity. So I'm just going to include down here um, another method for that, right, on activity result. So when there is a result, uh, we're going to use our request code. And if that's true, that's why we set it to one. So if it's true, then we're going to do a toast to say discovery in progress. And then we're going to tell it to set up the user interface again. And in a second, we will set up find devices. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to run it on the device again because we can't check this in the emulator. Okay, so I have the Bluetooth settings turned off on my device. So I'm going to start the application. Okay, and now I'm going to connect and we are presented with this dialog. And now this is slightly different than the default one that we had for just turning on Bluetooth. You can see that it's also asking if it's okay to make it discoverable. And the default time that it sets is 120 seconds, but there are, you can adjust that if you wanted to give it more time. So I'm going to tap yes, and then we have the turning on Bluetooth, and then we have discovery in progress. So at this point it is doing discovery, but we haven't built in anything for getting any data back as to the devices that we're actually connecting to. So we'll continue building on from here. So back in our Java code, okay, where we left off was we had just done our on activity result method and we set up the user interface and now uh, we have find devices. And this method hasn't been created yet, so I'm going to paste this in. And this find devices method is going to look through to see if there are any previous devices that had been paired with this. Now I haven't had any, so this won't show anything, but I do need to come in and um, set up a few other things. Like there's another method called get last used remote device. And uh, my toast text and remote device haven't been set up either. So let's go in and do that. 
So the toast text, it's already in a couple of other places, but it's not where that method can reach it. So I'm going to add this up here. So we're going to have a toast text up here and then a Bluetooth device that I need to import in. And this is going to represent our remote device. And since I already have this listed up here, I can take this one out and then I'm going to collapse that broadcast receiver again. So now if I come down here, the only issue that I have is with set. So we're going to import that. And then a method for get the last use remote device in case there are any that are in our preferences. But before we do that, well while we do that, it's going to look to see if it's not null, it's going to go through and retrieve them and then display them in a toast message. So let me put in the last use remote device method and this is going to go out to shared preferences and see if anything has been set in shared preferences as a last remote device. So it's looking for previous devices that have been used with this and it'll show a toast if it found any. And we're going to set paired devices, anything that's been paired and bonded before, it's going to loop through any of those and display them in toast messages. But as I said, I, I don't have any that have been paired with this device yet, so that's not going to display anything at this point on my examples. So that's looking for previous devices, and so if we don't have any, we want to find some. So we're going to add in another section in here, so that if the remote device is null, there aren't any, we want to do a discovery. So we have a toast text, and we're putting a lot of toasts in here just so that we can see where in this whole process everything is going on. So we're saying starting discovery for remote devices. So as we test, it should get into this as opposed to finding any previously paired devices. So we use the start discovery method with our Bluetooth adapter to start discovery. So we're going to display a toast message saying that. And we're going to create another receiver, another broadcast receiver, receiver called discovery result. So that when we do get a found device that uh, we will be able to do something with that. So the next piece of this is to add in our broadcast receiver for discovery result. So I'm just going to put that in right down here so that we can see these things together. And we have our discovery result broadcast receiver and we create a couple strings. One is for the remote device name and then we're assigning Bluetooth device to the name remote device. And then remote device, we're setting to an intent to get the extra device. And then we create a toast that's going to say it discovered and then display the device name. And then we display our toast. So it looks like everything is here. So I'm gonna save this and then we'll go into the DDMS and go through the, the whole cycle of what's happening. And this time we should be able to see a message of if it was able to find any discoverable devices. Okay, so I'm going to tap the connect button, asking it to be discoverable. And I have a second device uh, that I'm going to turn on and see if it will find it as well. Now that you won't see connected here. So I'm going to say yes, turning on Bluetooth, discovery in progress, scanning for devices, discovered, Okay, and it also found the other device that I just turned on and came up with a second device. So that's the basics of turning on uh, Bluetooth off and on and then also how to set up your devices to be discoverable.